Hi, this is Sally with Three Dimensional Visions, and today we're going to talk about shapeshifters. We'll be out here on the patio doing our coal working with our MK101 diamond saw. This saw has a recycling, the pump is in that white barrel, and then it has a diamond blade, and it's a a 10 inch blade, that means it can cut through about seven inches. Before you get starting, you have to dress the saw, just dress the blade, just like any other one. And so that's what I'm doing here with the dressing stone. I've got some gloves on today and an apron. I always have the apron on because it's wet and the gloves because it's a little chilly while I'm doing that. And today we're gonna demonstrate cutting on pattern bars. These are layers of glass that I've fused together in the warm glass studio and I'm cutting them to use to make hot glass pieces. The, it's whites and grays and, and some transparents in there and you can see they're stacked up and I've let them flow and get a little contorted. I've done this one particularly so I can have a straight area as well as a flowed area. So that's the size of the bar. It's pretty big and I'm going to get it flush against the mounting side where it has a uh, increments for inches and centimeters and I'm going to cut it. In this particular instance it's not mattering how much I cut but I have to see where that blade is going and how far out it's going to do and so you always like to take a look at that. So I'm going to start right now. I'm turning the machine on and there I am starting to cut. Now you go pretty slowly and I should have goggles on over my glasses but I don't. Uh, some days I put them on, some days I don't. I'm bad about that, but everyone should always do that uh, because it's a safety precaution. So and I'm going a little fast with this one, but that's because the speed of this cut, and whether it's really equal, doesn't matter. I'm getting off the very end, which I'm going to use, but it's not going to be uh, a critical that it's even to, to the even side with what I'm doing with these. So, like I said, we're out on the patio. That blue building that I'm next to is our fabrication building. And on the outside, we have the MK101 saw and a sandblaster. And on the inside, we have our other co-working machines. And we'll take you in there another day to show you those. So, you know, it's taking pretty long. I'm going through the uh, short side of this bar right now, but it's still taking a pretty good amount of time. Water comes down and hits the blade. It comes from the pump. Remember, the pump was in that white bucket, and it comes up, the blade comes, the water, excuse me, comes up to the blade and uh, flows out on it to keep the glass cool while it's being cut. And if you don't do that, the glass can heat up and then start fracturing and, uh, or cracking, and we don't want that. So I'm cutting the machine off now. And you don't have to do that every time you stop. You can just pull it back. But I'm going to show you what this looks like. And, and this time I'm bringing it up to the, to the camera so you can see. And I didn't quite get in the right focus, but you get the idea. You can see the layers. You can see that some of them have some transparency to them. And you can see that it has movement in it on the ends. And so I could cut off the middle part and have some straight, and then the ends would both be flows. So... And again, the colors are black and white and gray, and uh, an opaque gray and a transparent gray. So I'm turning it around, the bar around, to flush up against the piece, but it doesn't quite fit right now. So uh, I'm going to probably flip it over, yeah, and then I'm going to squish it up so that I can get a, a nice even cut, because I don't want to put a cut at the angle because I'll lose things. So if you're enjoying this, you can watch us. We do all sorts of these. You can watch us on Instagram, um, which is Glassboy in Houston. You can watch us on Facebook, where we're Glass 3DV, or three-dimensional visions. In fact, pretty much any of your so favorite social media, you'll probably find us there. Um, I'm trying to post these pretty much everywhere. This, again, is the Shape Shifters uh, series which is about pole working because we're changing the shape or the size of the pieces when we pole work them. So I'm cutting some more pieces, you see, and uh, I've got another one off and I'm putting it aside and now I'll start again and cut another one. So it's a, it's a tedious process. You can pretty much line up. See, I'm being careful to line it up. I'm actually going to cut this one right in the middle 
so I don't have such a long way to go um, when I cut the long sides. So that'll be a shorter cut. The longer it is, the, the more careful you have to be, and it's a little more tedious. Nobody wants to be gently pushing on that tray for uh, minutes and minutes on end because it's not ergonomically very nice. Uh, I do have a bucket at the lower part. You can see in the lower left, there's a bucket where I can drain the, the uh, tray because the tray is getting loaded up with water. You can see some water dripping out from the sides. The tray is getting loaded up with water as I cut from the water coming off of the um, blade. So again, we're trying to show you a little bit of what it looks like. I've cut those two pieces in half. And now I'm going to start sawing on the other ones. I really love these pattern bars. I've said that before if you've seen them in my other uh, videos. I, I'm a geoscience by academic, scientist by academic training, and these remind me of stratigraphy. You know, the oldest sediments are deposited first, and on top of them are younger and younger. And if it's flat and calm, everything's laying out flat, and you apply a little heat and pressure, like when you dam these contour pattern bars to make them, then you get some folds starting, you get some movement going, and you apply that heat, the, the glass moves, and it then deforms. And so I really like that. I think it's like a geological process, and so I'm very enamored with making contour pattern bars and seeing all the different uh, folds and arcs and bends that I can make in the glass, to, in the coloration of the glass, so that I can put it onto something either either something that I fuse or something that I blow, we blow out in the studio. So there's lots of other things. If you're cutting the Marini for the glass blowing studio, I'd put a little bar that's perpendicular to the measuring part of that table. And so it's parallel to, to the saw. And I would be able to cut each piece to the precise thickness that the one before was cut. And that's very good when you're going to put something on in the hot shop and you're going to lay them on a, on a kiln sheet and heat them up and you're going to squeeze them together and you want them to squish and get all the, all the air out in between them. You want them to be the same height and, and the same size. And so you can see it's a pretty tedious job shift, shifting these shapes or changing these shapes in, in the coal shop, at least with the saw. And again, you can follow us on Instagram or your favorite media. On Instagram, we are uh, Glass Blowing Houston. On Facebook, we are Glass 3DV or Three Dimensional Visions. We're on LinkedIn, YouTube, and uh, Pinterest even, I think. So uh, that's mostly, and, I, and then these uh, IGTV videos that we're doing lately. So here's a closer look of, of what that is. That's the straight part, and that's the deformed part. So I can still cut these ends off and use them as deformed, and I can cut the middle out, and that'll be really nice and straight. So I'll probably uh, cut one or two off of those, but then I'll probably save those for a later date. Here are the smaller contour ones that I've been cutting. And you can see they show a lot of movement. I can put these. Uh, with the black side on the bottom or with the gray side on the bottom. I think that's my two choices here. And they'll flow, whatever's on top will flow more than whatever's on the bottom. And so it'll be interesting. So you sit them in a different direction and they'll puddle out looking differently. And that makes for a very interesting color pattern when you're finished. And I'm, I'm cutting these up to make a light for, for the kitchen for a kitchen, and so I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing that. Unfortunately, I just figured out that I needed a, a larger kiln to make the piece I want to make, but I'm still cutting up the bars and getting set and ready for it. I'm trying to order my kiln, but you know, COVID has got it, so it's going to take months to get the kiln. I'm very disappointed to hear that, but that'll be the next interesting thing that we do is some large size panels. So you saw me dressing the, the uh, saw blade at the start. Well, after I'd been working a while, I'd, I'd dress it again. I wouldn't just keep cutting and cutting and cutting because 
the blade will get a little worn out and tired and you don't want to get don't want it to get too hot so you want to make sure that you uh, keep it dressed regularly so it'll be nice and sharp and will cut to have the best performance that it can have. Again, you can clearly see that water coming down now, uh, dripping onto that and, and dripping down. You can see the water filling the tray also. So you, you should let me know if you like these uh, videos. I try to say something informative at all of them, and I'm going to talk about the Coriolis effect now, or the Coriolis force. In the Northern Hemisphere, when something drains or when it flies around, it likes to go in, in a clockwise direction. When you're on the Southern Hemisphere, and this is the, the water coming out of the tray, you saw me pull the plug. This is the water coming out of the tray and it's going in the clockwise direction. If we were in the Southern Hemisphere, it would be going counterclockwise. So it's emptying out the tray, it's going into the bucket, and then I'll empty it out into a, a, a locale that we dug a hole and and that's where our, our drainage is happening and, and glass is inert, so there's no issue with that. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Three-Dimensional Visions, Glass Blowing Houston.